<clears throat> so in previous sessions of unit number 4 that is bch and rs code we have seen the <clears throat> basic classification of the codes then the basic concept we have revised the basic concept of galois field that is primitive polynomial then construction of galois field of g of 2 raised to 3 and 4 then minimal polynomials what are the different minimal polynomials i hope you have this with you this table is very important uh, for today's session you have to have the knowledge of this minimal polynomials and then uh, the construction of that galois field is very important so <coughs> we have seen the numericals on the generator polynomials how to uh, generate the or construct the generator polynomial for bch code so i hope you have this things in your mind so we'll start with today's session which is decoding of bch code now <clears throat> i just want you to write this example first just uh, leave a uh, half page before writing this numerical keep the half page free and then write the numerical which is because we need to write the steps before starting with the actual numerical so uh, leave one page for writing this decoding of uh, steps for decoding of bch code and then write this numerical on bch decoding everyone if you are any problem with the screen or uh, uh, any input please let me know and once you are done with the numerical please let me know so <clears throat> bch code is given 15 comma 7 that means n is 15 and k is 7 then it is double error correcting code that means tc is equal to 2 then generator polynomial is given and then message polynomial is given and then the transmitted code word for that message polynomial is given which is nothing but what <clears throat> the systematic form of that code word and the received code word is given and using g of 2 raised to 4 it should be g of 2 raised to 4 huh? this is not g of uh, alpha raised to 4 this should be g of 2 raised to 4 so using g of 2 raised to 4 and primitive polynomial x raised to 4 plus x plus 1 calculate the syndromes and location of the errors and find the corrected code word <clears throat> have you written the numerical please let me know
finished okay then so <clears throat> just write given values don't write uh, the g of x y of x r of x anything but just write the given is what n is equal to 15 and k is equal to 7 n is equal to 15 and k is equal to 7 and then tc is nothing but what 2 because it's a double error correcting code so tc is equal to 2 now see what is the question they have given you the received code word and you have, you have to check whether it's a valid code word or not now if it is not valid then you need to find the syndrome and using that syndrome you need to find the error correcting uh, polynomial and then using that error correcting polynomial you have to find the corrected code word so the procedure is same the steps are same as of cyclic code or linear uh, block code which is syndrome decoding but finding out the syndrome and then finding out the error correction polynomial is different so we start with the i will tell you the first uh, basic steps to find out the how to uh, find the syndromes and how to find the uh, no location of errors so just write down these steps how to calculate the syndrome the very first step your in your numerical is from the received code word you need to find the syndrome so step one is calculate the syndrome <coughs> everyone please write down this first step you have left the uh, some space na, for writing the decoding of bch code so in that space write step one calculate the syndromes and how to calculate the syndrome using the received code word just replace x by alpha i now i will tell you while solving the numerical what is alpha I and what is si now <clears throat> just write down calculate the syndrome by putting alpha i in place of x in r of x so simple if my syndrome is s1 my syndrome can be calculated by putting alpha raised to 1 in place of x if my first syndrome i have to calculate the first syndrome of the that received code word then i'll just replace i by 1 so s1 is equal to what r alpha raised to 1 so we'll see that later now next step is now remember the correction capability of the code is given as 2 they have not mentioned that the received code word contains two errors that means it can be one or it can be a valid code word it is not imperative that this received code word which is given in the numerical contains two errors remember these things everyone please attention the received code word they haven't mentioned that the received code word has the two errors if they have given that the 15 comma 7 bch code is a double error correcting capability so it is having capability of correcting two errors they haven't mentioned that the received code word contains the two errors so we need to find out first how many errors are present in the received code word so what is the second step second step is nothing but what find out the number of errors present in the received code word using matrix m i will tell you what is matrix m but right now just write down this second step which is find out the number of errors present in r of x using the matrix m now here we are assuming that or we are setting that the number of errors are equal to tc that means consider that two errors are present in the received code word so p is equal to tc so this is your first condition and then you need to calculate the determinant of m now if determinant of m is equal to zero then number of errors are less than tc so you need to calculate the determinant of m if it is less than if it is zero that is singular then number of errors that we have assumed that p is equal to tc are not it is not satisfied so p is less than tc now second condition is what if determinant of m is not equal to zero that is non-singular then your number of errors are equal to tc so this is the 
very important step for finding out the number of errors remember i am repeating this number of errors here we are assuming that number of errors are p it is not similar to tc it could be same but it is not imperative that p is equal to tc you have to verify whether how many errors are present in the received code word so for that that matrix m is given i will tell you what is matrix m while solving the numerical but right now just write this step number 2 the important condition is if m is singular then number of errors are less than tc if m is non singular then number of errors that we are assume that p is equal to tc this is very important step if you are done with the step number 2 please let me know okay so step number 2 is completed so now once now uh, see the step step number 1 is what you need to find the syndromes now using that syndrome you need to find what are what are the how many errors are present in the r of x and then once you have found the number of errors present in the received code word then you need to find the location of those errors so for finding out the location of errors that is e of x there is one polynomial which is called as error locating polynomial which is mu z or you can use any variable to represent that error locating polynomial but here i am i have represented it using mu z so what is mu z i will tell you later but remember this thing this is very important inverse of zeros of mu z gives the error locations this is very important so once you need to find mu z then find the zeros of mu z and once you have found the zeros of mu z take the inverse of those zeros which will give you the error location this is also important step to finding out in finding out the error polynomial so mu z is error locating polynomial keep that in mind and you need to find use that mu z once you have found the mu z find the roots of mu z and roots are nothing but what the zeros because it will be having only numerator term the denominator will be 1 so once you have found the zeros of mu z take the inverse of those zeros you will get the error location and once you are get the error location you can just add that error locations with r of x and you will get the corrected code word so this is the actual process to find out the validity of the received code word if you are done then last step write down that last step once you are done with the step number 3 and step number 4 please let me know okay step number 3 na just write down step number 3 calculate error locating polynomial mu z just write down this calculate error locating polynomial mu z i will tell you what is mu z what is m what everything but right now just write down this step calculate the error locating polynomial mu z now remember for mu z you will require again the matrix m so matrix m is very important in this step so error locating polynomial mu z and then 
you can write this note that the inverse of zeros of mu z so you will find mu z then you will find the roots of mu z roots are nothing but what zeros of that mu z and once you have found the roots of or zeros of that mu z take the inverse of that roots and that inverse of roots will give you the location of the error okay chalo if you are completed with step number 3 and 4 please let me know have you completed the step number 3 and 4 okay so just we'll move on to the our numerical now what is numerical the received code what is given just i hope you have having your received code over with you now remember the first step is what find the syndromes now before finding out the syndromes first you need to find out how many syndromes are present in the given decoding process so how to find it just write down this the number of syndromes are equal to what 2 into tc it is formula that your number of syndromes will be double of the error correcting capability of your code now what is the error correcting capability of your code it is 2 so what is tc 2 so number of syndromes will be 2 into 2 which is 4 so how many syndromes will be there it will have s1 s2 s3 and s4 now which and which i am going to represent using what s i now what is the value of i it is nothing but what 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so what is si it is nothing but what the number of syndromes present in the decoding process so si is nothing but what syndrome and i value of i will be 1 2 3 4 now how to calculate si it is just by replacing alpha i in place of x in r of x so every x in received code word will be replaced by alpha i i hope you are done with this step so s1 will be simply can you write s1 is r of what will be the value of s1 it will be simply r alpha are you getting this point the value of s1 that means my value of i is 1 so it will be s1 is equal to r in bracket alpha raised to 1 so my s1 is equal to r into or r of alpha raised to one are you done with this step with this slide please let me know because at my end i'm not sure about what you have written so please let me know if you are done okay so i hope this is clear how it is calculated si is equal to r of alpha and everything so we'll calculate the syndrome step by step i'll just show you the first syndrome i have the slides for s2 s3 s4 but you have to calculate on your own now what is my si it is nothing but what r of alpha i so i am going to calculate s1 so what is s1 it is calculated by putting alpha s2 i now what is my value of i it is 1 so simply i need to replace every x in the received code word by alpha simple so for syndrome 1 just replace every x by alpha and remember you have to process this s1 so what is r of x it is nothing but what alpha is to 9 alpha is sorry x is to 9 x is to 8 plus x is to 6 plus x is to 5 4 3 x is to 1 and plus 1 
so simply replace x by what alpha so what will be here s1 it will be alpha is to 9 plus alpha is to 8 plus alpha is to 6 plus alpha is to 5 plus alpha is to 4 plus alpha is to 3 plus alpha plus 1 now remember just reduce this equation using the gf 2 raised to 4 galois field i hope that you are having that table of construction of gf 2 raised to 4 don't require the binary representation you just require the representation of alpha raised to 4 and the higher orders of alpha in terms of the alpha alpha square alpha cube and 1 <clears throat> just please remember just replace this x by alpha in r of x because we are calculating s1 so your alpha i becomes alpha now just do not write this equation as alpha 13 at your end try to reduce that and confirm or cross verify whether it is alpha 13 or not please everyone use that your gf2 raised to 4 galois field table and reduce this equation this alpha 9 alpha 8 alpha 6 alpha 5 alpha 4 alpha 3 alpha and 1 and check whether it is correct or not the answer is alpha raised to 13 but please check at this your end those are those who are getting the answer that is alpha 13 please let me know whether it is correct or not so alpha table i am having that alpha table if you are not having the table of gf2 raised to 4 you can use this table this is using x raised to 4 plus x plus 1 so is it correct that is alpha 13 that s1 is alpha 13 are you getting so anshu srushti then kalyani shivani has got the answer i got the answer remaining participant please try this at your end because if you are just writing down this content from the slide it will not be helpful for solving the next numericals i hope you have understood this process that how to find the syndrome that is si is equal to r in bracket alpha raised to i <clears throat> so s1 is alpha 13 so can you write what is s2 please reply me in chat what is what will be s2 what will be the value of s2 in terms of alpha uh, r of x what will be the value of s2 so what is the value of i here now for s2 For S two, it will be what two i is equal to two. So what will be S two? Hello, please reply me in chat box. What is S two? Don't give me the answer directly. Just write down what is the equation for s2 what will be the s2 in terms of r of x that is this form whether it will be r of alpha r of alpha square alpha cube alpha 3 alpha 4 alpha 5 whether it is alpha so what is s2 i hope you remember this step what is s2 it is nothing but what alpha square so is it correct so s2 will be what r 
alpha square now what is the meaning of this you can calculate s2 by replacing x in r of x by alpha square understood so remember you have to replace every x in your r of x by alpha square so here x9 is nothing but what i need to replace this x by what alpha square so i have replaced this x by alpha square so what is my s2 it is alpha square raised to what 9 now what is my x raised to 8 it is nothing but what alpha square raised to 8 so consequently you can replace all these x by alpha square now remember i have replaced this x by alpha square you can write this equation but just understand these things and then proceed do not just write down this content from the slide just understand these things the concept how to calculate the syndromes so simply my s2 means what my value of i is 2 so i am going to replace that alpha 2 in place of x so s2 is equal to r alpha square so i am not going to show you s3 what is s3 and s4 huh? so replace this x by alpha square so every x is replaced by alpha square and then remember alpha square into 9 means what this 2 and 9 will get multiplied don't do the square of 9 or the ninth order of 2 okay so it is simply what the multiplication of 2 and 9 so it will be alpha 18 now what is alpha 18 alpha 18 is nothing but in gf2 raised to 4 just divide this by 2 raised to n minus 1 2 raised to m minus 1 which is 15 so alpha 18 in gf2 raised to 4 is nothing but what 18 divided by 15 is 1 and what is the remainder remainder is nothing but what 3 that's why i have taken alpha 18 as alpha cube remember this thing those who are not attended the lecture they have to pay the attention for this part alpha 18 is nothing but what alpha 3 what is alpha 16 now it is alpha square raised to what 8 so 2 into 8 16 so alpha 16 is nothing but what divided by 15 what is my remainder 1 so that's why alpha 16 is alpha 1 the other part will remain same because it contains the original terms from the galois field so you don't have to find out the remainder of that terms so alpha 12 as alpha 12 now you have to reduce it using the galois field so use that galois field table and tell me what is the your answer it should be same that is alpha 11 please find this at your side and tell me what is your answer whether this is correct or not so alpha 3 will be as it is alpha as it is alpha 12 will be if i'm not wrong it is alpha cube plus alpha square plus alpha plus 1 then now i need you to calculate s3 and s4 now remember uh, the session will end in 8 to 9 minutes so what we will do we will end this session we will end this meeting and after the break i need the answer for s3 and s4 so we'll meet in 15 minutes calculate s3 and s4 if you are done with s2 s2 is alpha 11 kalyani anshu shivani has got the answer alpha 11 now what is s3 if you are not understood the concept what will be s3 it will be s3 is equal to r in bracket alpha cube that means you need to replace this x in the received code word by alpha cube so alpha cube raised to 9 alpha cube raised to 9 means what alpha 27 alpha cube raised to 8 means what alpha 
alpha 3 raised to what 6 which will be alpha 18 so this will be alpha 15 this will be alpha 12 alpha 9 alpha cube plus 1 so we'll end this meeting we will end this session and we'll meet after 15 minutes and after the break we should have the value of s3 and s4 okay so i think 10 minutes are more than enough so we'll meet after 10 minutes okay so at uh, 115 let's say 115 it is one three now so we'll meet at 115 okay so i'm ending this meeting if you have any question you can send the question in whatsapp okay so i'm ending this meeting thank you